hello everyone again uh, this is my second video about the Monte Carlo integration in Python so in this video I will be explaining about the two-dimensional Monte Carlo integration here just like what we what I did in the one-dimensional Monte Carlo integration the formula is pretty much same uh, just the difference is this function which will be the function of x and y and then it will have two limits of integration so yeah this one limit of integration and another limit of integration so uh, the difference will be b minus a times d minus c over n and then the function will be f of x comma y so rest of thing is pretty much same and we will follow exactly the same steps if you have not seen my previous video please go back uh, see that video and come back here and then you will understand everything from there all right so uh, I'll use this example to so how uh, how to do this integration in Python so my function will be 9x x q y square so I'll pretty much follow the similar steps first I'll define the function here which is 9 x q y square uh, yeah defining this is pretty much same so instead of just uh, giving two inputs uh, uh, we should give four inputs here as the lower limit and upper in uh, limit for x and lower limit and upper limit for y and then total number uh, that those intervals needs to divide so uh, you you guys need to take care of this yen so make sure that uh, total number of divisions for both x and y should be same which is yen it should be equal so we I just define yen instead of defining yen one and yen two now to generate the random numbers for x as well as y uh, this step is pretty much similar to the previous one so like I saw in the previous video for getting n number of random numbers for x we defined an empty array of x and then uh, yeah for all the i in range of n uh, it will have the random numbers and then append it to this list uh, array here and similar for y so this code creates random numbers n random numbers for x within interval a to b and then n random numbers of y within interval c to d so next step we'll be finding out the summation of this so we already have x and y so i can actually i can integrate uh, this summation in this step but i just want you guys to understand what's going on here so i have uh, separately written the code for the summation here now okay so rest of the thing is pretty much same uh, just finding the function so for particular uh, value of i uh, there will be x i that means uh, uh, there will be a value of x and then y so function corresponding to that value of x and y will give this uh, will be given by this f of x i comma y i so for all the i that value is obtained and then add it to get the summation here okay so that loop if you didn't understand this properly go back to my previous video you will understand this clearly all right so from this we got this summation now we have pretty much everything uh, the limits and then total number and then summation just use that formula to get the integrated value so for this example we can simply calculate 
the integration and then now find out the answer to be 3360 that's my analytical value uh, so to get the percentage error absolute value of difference of uh, actual value and then calculated value over actual value gives me the percentage error so uh, get the percentage error and this statement prints that percentage error so I'll have percentage error here similarly this value this is the integrated value and this statement gives me the percentage sorry this uh, gives me the integrated value okay uh, prints me the integrated value so this is how um, uh, two-dimensional Monte Carlo integration is done if you wanna do it uh, in yarn dimension just keep uh, multiplying the difference of the integration limit and then find the function so rest of the thing is exactly same let's say you want to do this in three dimension function will be function of x uh, y and g and then here you will have uh, f minus e times b minus a times d minus c over n and here you have of x yg times dy dx dg etc so to summarize this just define the function and then use this technique to generate random number for all the variables and then find out the summation and use it in the formula okay so uh, all right let's do the this example let's start reading the code all right this is done this is done function defined okay uh, for the integration for x lower limit is 1 and upper is 3 and for y lower limit is 2 and upper is 4 okay let's put that here for x lower limit is 1 upper limit is 3 for y lower limit is 2 upper is 4 and number I want to divide uh, into let's say this much number of points okay let me find out the random numbers for this it takes a little bit of time because this is huge amount of number so yeah in, in other words for any kind of uh, this kind of statistical methods uses of random numbers as much as possible would be helpful to find out the right answer uh, so yeah numbers of the variables is 2 okay so it is consuming time consuming all right let me find out the summation this also takes time all right okay now I can see the answer all right so my uh, actual value is 3360 and then whatever answer I got is 3359 which is pretty much closer to the actual value and percentage error is 0 0.02 all right so if you increase the value of yen from this value to more then you might get the right answer so okay this is how the statistical method works all right that was the monte carlo double integration example and then you can generalize this technique to get this uh in multi-dimension as well all right thank you so much for watching this video if you have anything to write just write an email to me which is given in the description below if you have any questions you can post it on the comment section as well all right uh just to let you know that i will be posting a few more videos about the numerical methods in physics and engineering keep uh keep visiting my channel again thank you so much have a good night